Well, welcome everybody. Um, we're gonna wait for Juliana to get on the stream uh, and then we will get started. There she is, great, great. All right, you guys. Well, good morning or good afternoon, depending on where you're tuning in from. Uh, it is the first Thursday of the month. And as Juliana and I were reminiscing, we have been doing Facebook Lives for a whole year now. Um, so thank you guys for joining us for an entire year online. It will be great to finally see some of you in person at the gathering in July. Uh, my name is Meredith Smith and I'm here with DCE Juliana Schultz and we're here to cover a number of topics um, over the next 30 minutes. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. So since our last update live, um, we had a few dates pass, as you guys have uh, realized on the Facebook group and through email, through phone calls. Um, this date includes it turning in your hotel forms. Thank you guys for working on that. Uh, yesterday was the last day to qualify for express registration at the gathering. So um, you just had to have your stuff postmarked by yesterday. So it doesn't have to be in our office um, just yet. So thank you guys so much again for working with our office, um, working with Emma and Lauren and Krista as you guys were trying to figure out all those details to get that in, uh, to make your gathering process go as smoothly as possible. Uh, Krista actually right now is in Houston meeting with all of the hotels. Um, so you can imagine how many hotels and uh, hoteliers she's meeting with right now uh, to give all those details from you guys and your congregations uh, to the hotel so they can start working on what that looks like at the hotel. As a reminder, we've asked you guys not to contact your hotel until after May 15th. Um, I think I've heard a couple of stories of people saying, well, I contacted my hotel and they didn't know I was staying. Uh, that's because Krista was taking their stuff. So they will know after this week uh, that you guys are staying there. Uh, but there's a lot of people staying in your hotels, as you can imagine. And there's a lot of hotels and they each operate differently. Um, so we're telling you guys to wait until May 15th. Um, if you haven't heard from your hotel by then, then you can contact your hotel. Um, if you're contacting them beforehand, I know a couple of people have tried to ask about parking. Uh, just know that you're talking to usually the front desk people who um, are not who we're working with in, uh, directly, so they might not know. Um, there's also been a lot of turnover in the travel and tourism industry, so uh, they might be very new to their position um, and still learning, so make sure you give them a lot of uh, grace and patience as you're talking to, to them. Uh, this could be their first big group of people that they're getting to see, uh, so just offer that uh, to them as you guys are talking to them. As a reminder, um, you will get the, the credit card that you put on your hotel form in the next two weeks or so. That's what's going to get charged. So I know a number of people in the Facebook group are like, I need to know when because it's going to be a big charge on our card. Um, we can't necessarily tell you the exact date uh, besides that it'll happen in the next two weeks. And that's just because each hotel operates differently. Um, so just be prepared for that, especially if you're using those church credit cards um, and you've got some um, big expenses coming up. And then if you want to pay your bill, you're already thinking about like, well, I'm ready to get to the gathering. I want to pay with a check or a credit card. Um, your credit card when you check into the hotel does not have to be the same one you put on your form, um, but you will have to have a credit card for those incidentals. Um, now, some groups have wanted to pay by check. Uh, that will all have to be work out, worked out with your hotel individually. Um, so once you get that confirmation uh, number from the hotel, you can contact them and you guys can work that out. Again, uh, can't stress this enough, but each hotel operates very different. So please clarify with your hotel um, what your payment option is and be prepared to um, pay for those incidentals on a credit card when you do arrive to, in Houston in July. Oh man, lots of hotel stuff still, even though you guys have all gotten your hotel stuff in to us and we, we super appreciate that. Um, but know that now we're kind of in that waiting game of Chris is gonna give them all the information that you guys sent, make sure everything is set up for you, give them some time because it's a lot of you that are in hotels. Every hotel is dealing with a lot of different groups. Um, once you kind of get past the 15th, then it's a, a safe bet to be able to call. If you're going to talk to people, you're going to be able to, to then navigate through however it is that works best for you, whether that's um, talking to them about parking, paying in full, again, remembering to bring that credit card with you. And also, just a quick reminder, if, if you guys haven't been traveling much in the last couple of years, uh, do remember that like uh, uh, cleaning the room may work differently now, um, both from a staffing perspective and from a COVID perspective. So making sure that you're thinking about things like um, bringing extra trash bags in case you're not getting your room trash cleaned every week or, um, or those kinds of things. So uh, 
being being ready to and prepared for helping uh, students who are maybe traveling for the very first time. <laughs> um, so we know that there's some travel tips that are also available on the adult resource page. Um, now we're going to move on from hotels and we're going to start to think a little bit about um, a couple of things that you're going to start to hear more about, but you may not have had any kind of direct um, conversation about them. So um, as you guys know, uh, if you listen to the podcast, uh, we have both on-site and off-site serving event options. We have a fantastic team. They've been working really hard to make um, all sorts of opportunities available for you, both in the greater Houston area. Um, doing a ton of different projects and then uh, on site in the convention center uh, during the day uh, that you might have options to do both. Our off site throwing events tend to take kind of the bulk of the day um, and then uh, they're uh, $20 and they include a lunch. Uh, on site service takes anywhere from kind of an hour to two hours, but somewhere in there can be fit in a little more into a regular scheduled day. Um, and so groups may want one or the other. Um, and I think you indicated that on your registration when you registered with us. So we know lots of you are eager to hear about that. Primary adult leaders are going to start receiving um, communications, but this is going to be a little bit like when we said at the first part when you registered and things were kind of going to go staggered a little bit. Um, we're going to start with, with specific groups that meet certain criteria. They're going to get a first set of invites once they've had a chance to register. We'll open it up to a Group that has a kind of a broader set of criteria um, and then a, a broader set of criteria and then uh, if there's space available we'll offer it widely. Um, right now for things like off-site service it's both your preferences but also um, your hotel. It's just easier to, to get people from the Galleria out to service opportunities and we want to make sure that that's available to them um, out there and so like right now uh, but there's other pieces that go into that as well. So uh, we've taken a lot of factors into account. So if you're hearing about certain events, that's great. You wanna respond relatively quickly to that, um, both on-site and off-site. Um, if you haven't heard, you didn't miss anything, you might just not be in that, meet those particular criteria right now. Know that as opportunities are available and as we can, we wanna broaden that out so that as many people can fill those spots as we want. We wanna fill all our off-site and on-site service um, as a way to thank Houston for all of your, um, uh, they're welcoming to us and to leave um, a fantastic uh, piece behind. So I'm looking at questions on that. Meredith, did you see or anything I missed? Uh, uh, I saw some more, ho some more hotel questions, but it looks like Lauren is in there uh, taking care of some of those hotel questions for you guys. She is um, our expert between the three of us um, about yeah. hotels. So um, please put some questions into the, the comment section and she's willing to help you guys out. Uh, just a reminder on some of those communications, especially as we have more communication coming out leading up to the gathering, um, make sure that the email that you have you that you put for your gathering registration is the one you check regularly, uh, because that is where all of our communication go is going um, from here on out. Uh, we don't typically do a whole lot of changing of email, so make sure you're checking those spam, junk. Uh, this time around, it was promotion folders. Uh, so just make sure you're checking that uh, regularly as we start sending more communication out. Um, so, oh, yes, there was Julie. a question in here that I, I think I want to make sure that I clarify a lot because I may have said it too quickly, um, right? When we say you need to have a credit card when you check in, that's only for incidentals. You can talk to them about prepaying or paying on a different card, but you are going to have some kind of credit card that you're going to need for incidentals. Um, that card just generally holds a cost and then that gets reimbursed when you check out um, as long as nothing's wrong with the room. So that's what I meant when I said you need to have the credit card. <laughs> Yep, and I saw somebody just ask about the tax exempt uh, for the yeah. hotels. You should have some kind of piece of paper or form or something that says like we are tax exempt. Um, and when you can, when you communicate with the hotel, you will want to make sure you have all those details ready with you because they will ask you some questions on that. Again, that's kind of out of our office. Um, we just tell you, you, you need to do it if you want to participate in it. Um, but just make sure you have that when you're connecting with your hotel or maybe take it with you uh, when you're checking in. A um, couple more things that we guys, we have information to 
tell you, but it's just not quite ready to get out into the open. Um, I know a lot of you guys have been asking about the shuttling from your airport to the hotel um, or from the hotel to the airport at the end of the gathering. We're putting the final details on the shuttle signups for those groups that are traveling that way. Um, we heard from a number of groups that want to leave from Minute Maid Park to the airport at the end of the gathering. So we wanted to make sure that that was an option for you guys when you signed up. Um, so we weren't having to do a bunch of different links of like, oh yeah, by the way, we changed this. So um, within the next week or so, groups are going to be able to sign up for those shuttling options. Um, as Julianne and I have mentioned a number of times in the lives, uh, we are not the experts on everything. Um, previously, we gave out some numbers for shuttling prices, um, but over the last couple of months, I don't even want to say the prices because I don't, I don't want to bring that back up. <laughs> Over the last couple of months, um, you guys uh, have seen the uh, rise in fuel costs. We've added a number of hotels because so many of you guys want to come to the gathering. So we've had to up that contract. Um, so those prices are going to be a little bit more expensive than what was previously mentioned, or if you're searching in the Facebook group, um, what those prices are listed at. I will give you just a quick rundown and I will post it in the comment. Um, of what you can expect for guys traveling uh, via air. So round trip tickets from Hobby Airport are going to be $40 per person. And then one way tickets from Hobby Airport, Airport are $20 a person. Then the other airport round trip from Bush Airport are going to be $70 a person. And one way tickets um, are going to Bush are going to be 35. Um, we're still working on what it looks like to come from Minute Maid to the airport. So um, we don't have those numbers yet, uh, but that's what we have for the airport, uh, the total right now. Again, I know Julie and Anna and I are not the experts on this. Um, at the time we were giving you the best information that we had. Um, this is why we don't like to release stuff, uh, you know, four months in advance because it just, a lot of things change between uh, when we first say it and when we finally release it. Uh, but thank you guys for being patient with us and we'll hope to get that out for you guys um, in the next week or so. Yeah, I mean, it, I we have to say like, so appreciate your grace. Um, I know that there is a lot of stress and a lot of details and a lot of uh, planning. And we recognize that every time there's a cost to something that has to come from a car wash and a bake sale or pizza sale, or, I mean, you guys have gotten super creative with some of your fundraising, which is, which is amazing. Um, and so like one of the reasons that we decided we wanted to do these lives the way that we have is really, we just want to give you the best information we can when we have it. Um, and so, uh, yeah, that information is going to come out soon, um, but we're going to continue to work on that. I'm looking at um, a couple, at least one question that I saw, um, do I have to talk to my hotel before I come? I don't. Not, if you feel good about, uh, um, you send them the deposit, you have your rooms, um, you'll get confirmation from them and yeah, you, you're, you'll be good. So you don't have to make any contact. Um, there are some groups that have some specific questions that they're gonna be able to do that. I'm also looking down and realizing that maybe uh, the other thing that I'm not seeing is just a reminder that like, uh, again, information that's coming out to specific groups that will be widening groups will also be some food options, right? So we have um, sent some initial emails to specific groups, again, with specific parameters about some food options. As those options fill um, we'll op or, or don't fill, we'll, we'll make some more of those offers, but that's part of that comprehensive food plan. So if you uh, maybe haven't heard yet, but you've kind of seen people talk about it, it's okay. Um, as, as we kind of broaden that spectrum out and, and have those opportunities, so we'll, we'll send that out. Um, so, but we also appreciate how much you guys are supporting each other on the uh, Facebook group and giving great suggestions and ideas and ways to think about um, food and do it economically, especially with a big group of teenagers that likes to eat all the food all the time. Um, so yeah, we appreciate that. Um, uh, another thing that you can think about as you're preparing for the gathering, uh, if, again, if you listen to the service projects, or I'm sorry, the podcast where we talked about our service projects, you'll remember we talked a little bit about um, making beds for young people or for children in the Houston area who do not have a bed. Um, we're also going to be making blankets for those beds uh, to go kind of with the combo package. Um, and those we're gonna make those blankets 
uh, in the youth booth in Hall A um, it, with LCMS Servant Events. But as we talked about that as an offering for a service project and everyone's welcome to come and, and help tie some blankets together for young people to go with the beds and to lovingly pray for those young people who will be sleeping in those beds. Uh, we recognize that that might be a project that you could do ahead of time. Right. Uh, surprisingly, uh, it's going to be harder for us to keep up with the demand of blankets, <laughs> the beds. And so um, we would love for your group, if you have some time, maybe in a meeting or maybe as you're kind of uh, trying to gather groups, to, your group together in preparation for the gathering. If you guys would like to make a tie blanket, a tie fleece blanket that's twin size, we'll be putting out some very specific details and instructions, but you can easily Google that. Um, you can do that, bring it with you and bring it to the youth booth and we'll make sure that we can attach that um, and send that off with some of the beds that we're making. So great opportunity to serve even before you get to the gathering, uh, the Houston community and people we're gonna serve. So uh, we'll be putting again, that those details of what we'll be looking for um, on the on the adult leader resource page, but again, we're just looking for twin fleece blankets. If you're uh, willing to make those, I would love to have you do that. That's one of my favorite projects to do. I love making those blankets. They are. I <laughs> did plenty I, of I them stop in the YouTube with you. <laughs> and it's a great way to sit and have conversation and keep little uh, like uh, to keep hands busy. I do a lot of watching. So if you're, you know, sitting and talking through some of the details of your of your trip and you're gonna have young people tie blankets as they do it, that actually can be really fun. Um, yeah. I love that. Um, we've also seen a number of people asking about the gather memorial. Um, if you are new to the gathering or if you've been before, um, at each gathering, we like to recognize um, some of the saints that have gone before us, specifically the youth and adults who were eligible to attend um, this gathering. So from 2019 until 2022, um, we are going to start collecting those names here in the next couple of weeks. Um, we're not quite ready to grab those from you guys. Um, so more of it, more information is going to be available, but we are doing that. So if you want to start working on that um, within your congregations, um, we're going to need basic information like uh, first and last name, your church's name, city, state. Um, and if you have a high res photo, um, you guys can start collecting that. So when we do release that um, to open up, you'll be ready to send it in. Um, and while we want to honor all of the lives lost in the last three years, um, we do ask that you only include the youth and adults that have been that would have been eligible to come to this gathering. Um, it just helps in our planning, um, helps the stadium team out a whole lot if you guys uh, just focus on that group of people. Um, but if your group uh, has it has had a loss and you don't want to participate. Do not feel obligated to participate. Um, this is just a way that the gathering likes to honor those people that could have been um, in Houston with us this summer. Um, but like I said, more information is going to be coming out about that. Um, but if you wanna start collecting those basic, that basic information and get ready um, when that opens, you can send it right away. Um, I think we're looking at a June 19th deadline. So it should open up in the next week or so um, for those groups to participate in that. Yeah. Um, another thing that you're going to be hearing about here soon that maybe you haven't talked too much about before is that we do have communion as a part of our Wednesday worship together in the divine service. And, um, and so we uh, will be looking for some assistance with that. Uh, so we will send out that request to help uh, distribute communion to those who uh, were registered with us who have that title of Rev in front of them. So if you are a pastor and you're coming and you have that title. Uh, indicated uh, when you did that, we will be sending an email out to you uh, to say, hey, uh, are you interested in helping us with that? We have a lot more details and we'll tell you all about all the different components. So you can, don't ask because <laughs> Meredith and I don't know um, all the different pieces to that, but just to keep a lookout for that. And if you registered as a pastor, or you registered a pastor in your group and you didn't click that, that reverend title in front of them, you can still go in and click that now so <laughs> that that email gets to them. Uh, that's kind of our way of knowing who in this group we're going to make that invitation to. Uh, so we love that uh, we get to celebrate communion together, um, and we especially appreciate the hundreds, plural, of pastors that it takes uh, to make that distribution possible. Um, and we will have all sorts of details and trainings and pieces that will come uh, once we have that. But uh, we want to make sure that you guys had a chance, had a uh, a little bit of time to go in and make sure that your your pastor is labeled in that way if, if that's something you want to do not not everyone does 
So, um, but if that's something that you're interested in, I'm just making sure that we can find you in the in the numbers of people who are registered for the gathering. Absolutely. Um, and there is training. So you don't have to have a whole lot of experience. So you could be fresh out of the seminary and taking a group and you can still help us out. Um, last month, we told you guys that we were going to have some big announcements in the month of May. Uh, so instead of just like sprinkling them throughout May, uh, we have decided we're going to do a big gathering reveal week. Um, we have told you guys to put a number of dates on your calendars over the last year. Um, this could be one of the last ones to put on your calendar. I'm not sure yet. Um, but May 15th through the 21st, we're going to do reveal week all week on gathering social media. So that is a Sunday to a Saturday, a full week of reveals. Um, you'll get a sneak peek of some of the items and some of the people you get to see at the gathering. Um, now we will say this is only a small snippet of what you can expect to see and experience at the gathering. Um, so we'll be revealing, after that, we will be revealing some things periodically um, leading up all the way to the gathering. So you'll wanna stay tuned for that. Make sure you, your youth are following uh, the gathering on all the social media platforms that they can. Um, and you, we're really excited, I'm really excited uh, to release some of this stuff out. Um, Blake is saying, bless the Lord for uh, reveal week. So that is exciting. And we'd love to see your excitement. Um, it's even better when it comes from the youth. So thank you guys for promoting that. Um, you can look forward to it in just like two weeks. So I'm pumped. I'm super pumped. Um, and because we we just love you guys so much, Juliana and we're like, we were like, we've only done this for a year. Let's keep adding Facebook lives, right, Juliana? We do. We, we love Facebook lives. lives. <laughs> so, I'm not sure um, how much everyone loves this, but yeah. <laughs> We, we appreciate getting to communicate with you. <laughs> because there's just so much information leading up to the gathering, um, we are going to be doing another Facebook Live on May 19th. Um, same time, it's on a Thursday. It'll be in the middle of Reveal Week, so maybe we can share in the excitement of what's been going on and what's still to come um, in Reveal Week. Um, but just know that we're going to have another time for you guys to come come together, ask us questions, and hopefully we'll have some more information to give you guys um, in two, just in two weeks. It's crazy how much we can plan and get, get done in two weeks, right? <laughs> um, so just yeah. know that we're going to be doing that. If you can't join us because this is not uh, on your calendar already, um, we do keep recordings of all of these Facebook Lives that you can go back and watch on YouTube. Yeah, um, so much i'm looking okay give us just a second because i I'm, i i'm like i'm seeing questions and i'm losing them because you guys are like um are are rolling through um okay so i uh, one of somebody asked are blankets only allowed to be fleece tie blankets twins um i would say this the thing that we're trying to do is make sure the blankets were made by the young people so if you have young quilters who want to do quilts for us, um, that, that would be lovely. Um, uh, but we're really trying to make sure the blankets that we are sending with the beds are likewise made by the young people at the gathering um, as a part of a service to that. So um, I hope that helps. Um, people are a little bit confused about food options. Um, that is because you probably haven't received the information about food options <laughs> Uh, because we're right now working with a limited group and that group will get larger over time. Um, so if you're like, I don't understand the difference between some of these places that we're talking about, um, please know that we will, as, as, as space is available, open that up and then explain things more, right? So uh, if you're a little confused, uh, don't worry too much. I'm looking at, but, but somebody did ask this question, right? Um, the email is going to the PAL, <laughs> yes. right? So we have taken your primary adult leader email and that is where this information is going. So um, if the, we wanna make sure that you're checking that email that you have listed as a PAL um, because that uh, is going to be uh, the place to do it. And there are going to be food options that are, free to, or that are available to everybody that are not a part of this. So like our food trucks, there are gonna be lots of food truck options. <laughs> We're working on getting those finalized so that we can put those out. Those are gonna be available to everybody, um, both for lunch and for dinner. Um, so there are parts of the comprehensive food plan that we will go over and maybe that's something that we can do in two weeks. Um, <laughs> the parts of the comprehensive food plan that are gonna be uh, true for everybody. Um, so hopefully that helps a little bit in the, if, if there's still a little bit of confusion. I Man, I didn't see Mark and, and Lauren kick it here. But and just I, a reminder, um, 
I know that registration is closed, but you still have until May 31st to do your substitutions and cancellations um, for the gathering. So if you have some kids that have dropped out, but you know that you can find somebody else to put those in, you still have time to do that. Um, you just kind of need, you need to make sure that they fit in your hotel block because we are not doing any more um, hotel assignments or anything like that. So just know that you have until the end of the month to do those cancellations and substitutions. Yeah, and if you can't find that link um, on the website, uh, you certainly can, uh, you should be able to find the link on, in an email, right, to be able to do that. I, I say that, and now I'm suddenly not confident in that at all. There is, there is, um, um, I'm clicking on it right now, there is a banner on the homepage of the website Okay. for returning uh, congregations, which all of you are returning congregations at this point. Um, which I think is how you need to get into the registration program. Yeah. Or it's going to tell you to call the office. Maybe you should just call the office or email the office. Um, that's probably easier. <laughs> yeah, Lauren just said that. Just, just call us or email us. Emailing us is great. We love hearing from you. Right, really, it's just an incentive to come and talk to us. We're super fun. Um, and we, uh, we're happy to help you do that. Um, all right, what else am I missing here? Anything else? I'm looking for last questions here. Oh, okay, Lauren's like, Juliana gave this information already. Way to, way to catch me, Lauren. Um, this is why I'm not allowed to answer the phone, <laughs> and Lauren is, because I would not have nearly as much information as she does. Um, so yes, so please call or email our office. Uh, yes, somebody's asking about medical forms. We are working hard. Uh, we're trying to get them to you. Um, again, that's one of those things where um, it's kind of like, like the, uh, the shuttles. Uh, we are actively working towards trying to get those to you as soon as possible. The commissioning service is up uh, if you guys want to make that available um, to you guys. So yeah, Sarah, if you're, you may not have received an email about food options. Those are for a limited group. Right, so if you haven't seen an email about food options, that's okay. You didn't miss anything. That's just to a limited group, right? And that limited group had to do with um, hotels and sizes and all sorts of other things, right? So um, limited group, that group is gonna get bigger. So if you haven't heard anything, you didn't miss it. It's just like um, just like the servant event thing. Limited group, you didn't miss it. Um, and we'll let you know as soon as um, we can, if there continue to be spots open, if we can let people into that. So um, please don't, please don't worry too much about that. Um, are we hearing about back? No, release week. You're gonna hear all sorts of fun things like, oh, I don't know, the color of a backpack that may or may not be of interest to you may or may not be happening on, well, can I, can I say definitively you'll know on reveal week? You will know, yes, right. you will know by the yeah. end of reveal week. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, Juliana, it looks like we're coming to the end of our time, um, but like we said, we are going to host another gathering update live um, at 12 p.m. Central Time on Thursday, May 19th. Uh, we will be here again uh, to answer questions and to share as much information with you guys as we can. Um, we know that we're coming down to the wire of gathering planning. Uh, we know it's the end of the school year for a lot of your youth. Uh, thanks for hanging in there with us and being patient um, and offering us so much grace as we have gone through this planning cycle uh, together. We've only been with you guys for a year uh, doing these Facebook Lives, but um, it has been so great to communicate with you guys. As always, you can reach out to your district coordinator for questions. You can email um, nygregistration at lcms.org with your questions, or you can connect with us in the LCMS Youth Ministry Facebook group. Uh, we look forward to seeing you guys in two weeks.